Welcome to, to Enable Help. Uh, I'm going to show you how to apply for a membership card. Membership cards uh, apply uh, to organizations that are operating on the system and it's a means by which they can simply do attendance okay, by scanning a card rather than having to search up a, t a database. So if we, uh, once you've logged in, important thing is to go to my account. Uh, you'll notice I've already opened my account and I'm operating in the Silverlight application. Uh, this is not available in the light version. So if I select my account, you'll notice up here if in the edit space I can change my password. And what should appear here is in fact a, uh, an application for a, a membership card. And it's not, apply, uh, it's not appeared for me. And the reason it's not appeared for me, and I'm just going to exit out of this quickly, is that in my organizations, I'm a member of two organizations, Castle Bridge Music Development Academy and Rob Ferreira, but both my membership statuses are in a state of pending. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, log in as, as the Casterbridge uh, administrator and this I've actually logged in in the other browser as a Casterbridge administrator and here you can see there's demo user and this is in a state of pending and this is one of the tools for administrators and I'm going to uh, make demo user a, a member of uh, Casterbridge. So I'm just going to change their membership status to member, it's as simple as that. If you're an administrator, I'm going to save that. I haven't processed the other applications. And while that's busy saving, what I'm going to do is um, is to tell this program to go off and, and, and check uh, my membership status, which is to refresh the local data. So um, one of the things that um, the Silverlight application does is it downloads lots of data which sits on the computer. So when there's a change um, made, for instance, like I've just made uh, through the in the cloud, I need to actually go and re-access all that cloud uh, data. So um, and one of those things is now if I select my organisations, hopefully it's going to update the uh, status of my organisations. So I'm just going to wait a second for that to. Right, so um, going back to my organization, there you can see my membership status has changed. I'm demo user again. And now I can obviously apply for a membership card. So if I go back to my account, I'm going to have to reopen my account so it'll, it'll load my membership card. Um, if you just give it a second, there you can see is uh, the application for my card. So if I go to my card and I actually print it out, what should appear here is a photograph. Okay, there's a barcode. So there's two ways of adding a photograph. I can obviously use the camera on my, on my device, or if I have got a, a photograph of myself on the system, I can go off and um, grab a photograph on the system. So if I just go to my pictures and I'll see what pictures I've got, I'm going to take a random picture of a two-enable learner, and um, I'm going to save that first. So that technically should be a photograph of, of, of myself and, um, and that is the photograph that is going to appear in my card. So it's important to ensure that the photograph that you put here is a real photograph of you. Um, people who print out the membership cards won't be printing out cards uh, if, unless it contains a proper photograph of you which they can use to obviously identify who you are by your card. So now there it's, it's saved itself, so I'm going to go back in and if I choose my card again, you'll see there's my photograph. And I can then apply for a card. So if I click on apply and for Casterbridge, if you come to Casterbridge, there's a 50 rand cost. And where do you want to deliver to? So obviously I want to deliver to Casterbridge. This could be my school, uh, in which case I could be applying for the, the membership card for my school, or it could be for an after school program such as Casterbridge. So in this case, uh, you're a member of Casterbridge and you're applying for a card because we'd like you to use a card in our program. And once you've done that, you obviously select OK and that will take you off to, in a second, um, and do your application. Uh, it's as simple as that in terms of uh, doing an application for a card, but obviously what I've shown you is the fact that you need to be a member of an organization. If you're not a member of an organization and your status is impending, you won't be able to access a, a card. And to access the card, you do so through your account where you need to put a photograph. And um, the other thing that I've shown you is obviously from an administrative point of view, how simple it is to uh, accept an application for membership to an organization. 
So I hope that has helped you with uh, the application process for a card uh, which is used for generally for attendance and for uh, events certainly at um, our organisation and if you've got a school maybe you want the same functionality for your school. Uh, please check in for the, the, the next uh, help video which is we're going to start getting onto the more advanced functionality uh, and that basically is the last video of the series which covers the basic functionality. Thank you.